What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay, coming at you with an idea I got last week while live on Derek's Hard Corner. I thought to myself, I'm like, self, I think I should do a segment where I just rant about news in the horror community. It'll be like a podcast-style segment, unscripted, with less visuals than the normal videos, and they can come out a little bit more frequent. I'll call it, tell them why you're mad. So I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. You ready? And pardon the language in this segment because it's off script and it's coming from the heart. So if you're ready for that, let's get into it. All right, I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad, damn it. I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad. First of all, I'm looking at the news, the bloody disgusting and all this stuff, and I see Sidney Prescott. Nev Campbell is in talks of coming back for a sequel to Scream 4, Scream 5. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Sidney Prescott is not dead yet. That is the gripe that I have with the whole Scream franchise. Rest in peace, Wes Craven. We love you. One of the horror icons of the genre. But the problem that I have with the Scream franchise is the fact that Sidney Prescott has not bit the bullet yet. Why in the hell is she still alive? There is absolutely no reason. Hopefully in Scream 5, Sidney Prescott will play the killer. This time she has snapped and she is the killer now. Make that fucking shit happen, please. Because right now, the killers are so incompetent. In every single installment of the Scream franchise, the killers are very incompetent. Why in the hell does Sydney live this long? I'm not, I'm beating a dead horse right now, so I'm gonna move on to the next thing. Freddy vs. Jason Part 2. I'm a part of a few groups, and in those groups, you know, those Nightmare on Elm Street groups, I hear they should make a Freddy vs. Jason Part 2. No, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't at all. Ronnie, you shouldn't even made the first one. I know people will argue with me on that one, but he shouldn't even made that one. But anyway, Freddy vs. Jason Part 2. First of all, you can't wait 10 years like you did after Jason goes to hell. You can't do that for the simple fact that people aren't immortal. Robert England is working against the clock, unfortunately. We all are. So, the ship has sailed on Freddy vs. Jason Part 2. The uh, bottle has been cracked on the ship. The ship is gone. There's no way that we can revisit that unless Freddy gets a legitimate remake. Something that sticks with the fans, something that makes a lot of money. And if Freddy can get a good remake, Jason will get a sequel. And if Jason gets a sequel, then that will make him relevant in the community again. So, with all those pieces lined up, with all those puzzle pieces having to be put together, do I see that Freddy vs. Jason Part 2 will be made? Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, Freddy vs. Jason vs. Leatherface, vs. Pinhead, vs. the motherfucking Tooth Fairy, whoever. Do I see it happening? No, I don't. Anyway, this next topic really doesn't make me mad. I'm just kind of curious because I'm one of those horror fans. I love horror movies, but I hate like the sci-fi horror films. I hate the some of the straight to DVD films, some of the knockoff holiday named films like fucking St. Patrick's Day or some shit like that. You know, just because they were trying to cash in on the success of like the Halloweens and the Friday the 13th, those kind of iconic days throughout the year. They were trying to capitalize on that. So the movies suck. I'm sorry. The movies, they just look like they suck. You look at the previews and it's like, oh, my goodness. Oh, man. So, I'm kind of leery on purchasing Shudder. Being a horror fan, I should purchase Shudder. Competing with Sin, because he'll watch anything under the sun, I should get Shudder. But I looked at the uh, library of videos that they had, and it was just, like, cringeworthy. It's like, wow, they have stuff in here. The posters look like something from a Marvel studio or something. 
Like, I don't want to see a knockoff, you know? So that's why I really stick to, like, the legends of the horror genre. The Leatherfaces, uh, Jason, Michael, Chucky, Pinhead. See, I, I left Freddy last, even though I am a Fredhead. <laughs> Moving right along... The director of Equilibrium is currently filming a new take on Stephen King's Children of the Corn in Australia. Shouts out Australia, I love you guys. But Children of the Corn, no! We don't need Children of the Corn. There's no reason to make another Children of the Corn. How many Children of the Corns are there? There are so many Children of the Corns right now. I have not even seen, I haven't seen the ones since part three. Anything after that, I just like, no, no. Straight to DVD, no. Nope, nope, nope. I have no time for it. I can't get the motherfucking time back that I invest into this movie. So no, I'm not going to enjoy myself. Maybe, maybe a new take on Children of the Corn. Maybe they can make it a little bit more scarier. But after the first one, the first one was a little bit creepy. The second one was creepier, but it had that more cinematic tone to it. The third one, I kind of clocked out. That's why I didn't watch the rest of them. It's kind of like the um, Hellraiser series. After part four, I couldn't watch it. So anything after that is irrelevant. People can argue the fact that Jason X was good, but I will argue to the day that I die, to the cows come home, that Jason X sucked. That movie sucked. It sucked balls. The reason why it sucked balls is for the simple fact it went out to space. It froze Jason cryogenically. Now this man is Captain America and shit. You know what? You sparked an idea right now. I'm gonna actually sit down and do a retrospective review of Jason X. So be looking for that on the channel coming soon. I hope you liked the first episode of Tell Him Why You're Mad because this is why I'm mad. All is bullshit. There's no reason... There's no reason for it. There is no room in Hollywood for another Children of the Corn. We don't need Freddy vs. Jason Part 2 unless it's done great because the first one was done mediocre. Come on, guys. Nev Campbell, just... Sydney needs to die. She needs to die. She should have died in the third one. Second one, I could give her a pass. She, she should have died in the third one. In the fourth one, she should have been a corpse. She should have been fucking zombie Luke Kang coming back. <laughs> All right, I'm bugging out. This is your boy, Jay, Splatter Talk Cinema Review. If you like the segment, tell them why you're mad. Please, tell me why you like it in the comments below. If you are new to the channel, I suggest that you go and check out all the other videos that we have, that we've posted over the years. And, um, you know, give your comments on those. Give your comments on this one. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss anything Splatter Talk. With that being said, this is your boy, Jay. Splatter Talk Cinema Review. It's a wrap.